Express Cube 265. We have another model that looks almost identical to this. It's just about six inches shorter on the width and six inches shorter on the height. But uh, it, the one unique thing about a 165 is it's made to fit on a 24 inch counter space. This is, as I say, this is the 265. They operate identical. They almost virtually look the same. And just to give you an idea, these are the dimensioning strips that actually measure the boxes. And what you'll see on the outside is a yellow line that follows the perimeter. And the same thing up at the top. What these are is it's a guideline to say that uh, this is where the boxes will measure. In other words, you should not have anything outside the guideline. You can have anything inside, and I'll show you with a box soon that can move, but it has to cross this area here so that we can get the width, the length, and the height. Um, we're doing this video based on control with the software. You can have the LCD controller or you can have a software. In this case here, the software controls the machine. All right, now we're going to bring, come around to the back here. Um, one thing to remember, the entire platform here is floating. It's part of a weigh scale, and that includes the back portion here. So if you come around to the back here, you'll notice there's some standoffs. If this was against the wall, this would push the machine out a little bit. And the reason it does that is you cannot have this touching anything because again, it's part of the floating platform. So you have to be careful. There's not even cables or anything else is touching the platform. And down here we have the connections, which you normally wouldn't be once they're on, they're on. And you have your off on switch. Now I just turned the switch on here. And what we'll do is we'll go around and I will give you a demonstration of the system. Now, one of the features of the 265, in fact, all the Express Cubes, is that we have signal indicators in here. They're always operational, even if the system is computer controlled. The reason being, there is a lot of different software available to run the machine. We just want the operator to be able to look, and if he sees something going on, he can immediately identify what is happening with the machine. So. In this case here, this is the power button. This one with the two arrows means it's a dimension button and it is yellow when it's lit and it will only come on when it has accurately dimensioned all three dimensions, height, width, and length. This is the weight. Once it's determined a valid weight, it will light up green. And the blue you see here is for an empty platform. Now I'm going to show you a little bit on the software. The software, as I say, there are a lot of different software packages that are available that can hook into the machine. We give out our, our control formats to anybody who's designing software. Uh, typically the software can perform all the controls on the machine. Here I've got a zero button. I can also even change from whether it's doing centimeters and, kilo and kilograms or inches and pounds. All right, I'm going to demonstrate now how to measure a box on one of our machines here. Again, I observe the fact that everything fits in within the yellow lines, which obviously this one is very easily going to do. Um, the important thing is to roughly center it between the lines just to make sure that you have got the widths length and measurements already in. Now, if we look here on the screen, we can see 12 inches, 12 inches, 12 inches, and valid weight and valid dimension, which we can also see on the display here. In fact, what I'll do is I'll put the box off and on, and you'll see as it's, as it's going, you now see zero. We bring this box, place it in, valid weight, valid dimension. And I, it depends on the software, but you can also see the same thing occurring 
on the status area down here in this size at two. So I've got the machine off, it's zero. I place the box on, the zero is off, valid weight, valid dimension, and everything is ready to go. So at this point, it's ready for a measurement. Now, it's, it depends on the software program, but in our program we can also do centimeters and kilograms. You'll see that it switches and inches and pounds. And now what I'm going to do is record the weight. Now what this thing has done is this has recorded the weight. As soon as it, you heard the beep there and everything, it checks, makes sure everything is valid, at least is the way our software works. And then it takes it and moves it down here. And in this is the data that's being recorded in this area here. And uh, our software does a couple different dims. In other words, you've got your gross weight here. You can have four different dim factors representing different ways something is being done. This could be air, ground, uh, or a particular courier, courier companies. And in that way, you can compare dimensional weights that you're going to be charged against. And um, it's just a feature of the software. Some people use it, some people don't have to. Because uh, in the cases of some of the couriers like uh, UPS and everything, they have this integrator right into their system. Now, I move the platform, of course, and then it will be ready for another measurement.